Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and today in this video we will be talking about the next generation command line FIG. We already spoke about FIG like two years before while the FIG actually got launched but now FIG has gone bigger. FIG has now been acquired as a part of Amazon Code Whisper, and now you can use FIG for free without doing any waiting list or something like that. Because while I launched this video like two years before, it was in waiting list. You have to be in waiting list and then you have to get approval from the company so that you can start using it. But right now it has changed and it's part of Amazon Code Whisper, so you can directly download it and start using it for free. And since FIG is now part of Amazon Code Whisperer, we now have the artificial intelligence feature baked inside the FIG itself. So you can use a natural language ways to generate the command for your command line interface which you can pass to get the details out from the code whisperer itself which is really really awesome so this is the one of the most important exciting feature which has been introduced in the fig even though fig already has the feature like auto complete to complete the commands that you give in for example the git command which is going to show you the command that you have to complete in the next command and also the docker command or the custom scripts that you can see you can create your own scripting features inside the autocomplete like how you saw the docker command or the git command or you connect with the server with the credentials for example ssh credentials that you can bake in in the fig itself or creating a dot file with all the environment variables and stuff all these are some of the amazing features which is already available in fig but beyond that you also have got the artificial intelligence feature which is going to help you to get the command by passing the natural language and then getting the command equivalent for that particular natural language itself. That is what we are going to be discussing in this particular video. But before we jump into that particular discussion like artificial intelligence feature, I'll quickly show you some of the feature which is already there in the fig as a command line, how it has been improved so far. And then we'll discuss how we can use the code whisperers artificial intelligence feature, which is going to help you even further with the command lines in much, much better fashion. We're going to jump in a demo and I'm going to quickly show you how the fig is going to look like. And once again, you just have to download the fig. And now the name of the fig has changed to code whisperer. So if you go and see here, it's called as code whisperer, as you can see. So if you go to the settings over here, you can see that this window comes in and it says code whisperer so it's not fig anymore but it has changed name i think the website name is going to be changed as well to code whisperer pretty soon but as of now it's fig because it's been acquired from there so you can see that these are the things that you can do uh, there are some key bindings there are some integrations so you can see that fig can be integrated with the hyper terminal and terminal which is available in the mac operating system vs code item terminals and if you have JetBrains, writer ide or visual studio you can also do the integration with that and there are some other options that you can see over here well, as I said, I'm going to quickly show you how the fig is going to look like. So all I'm going to do it is I'm going to open the hyper terminal over here. And now over here, if I try to type like get, it's going to show me all the different details just going to automatically come up. So you can see that I'm actually getting some more autocomplete by based on the Zish autocomplete over there. And that's the reason why you get this particular suggestion. But you can see that this suggestion that you're seeing over here, like add, apply, archive, blame, clean commit these are all coming from the code whisperer or the fig itself so that is the thing that is happening over here and then if you just try to do a docker and you can see that it's going to show you the command for the docker like docker attach docker builder buildx commit config create diff something like that so these are things which is going to automatically help you to perform these operation over here so if you wanted to navigate to a directory then you can just do something like this tryout and then you can see all the directories available on that particular folder comes in and then for example the selenium 4 framework demo and that is going to show you all the directories over there then you can bring it up over here something like that and similarly you can also use the dotnet command as well so if i just put dotnet and then you see that the command is going to load up and then it's going to show you all the different commands specific for the dotnet itself so you can see that it's going to show you the list add, build, clean, migrate, package, new, run, and things of that nature. So you can do test, and then that's it. This is gonna show you the test option as well. So this is pretty cool. And not only that, you can also go even further with this particular fig with the new Code Whisperer's AI feature, which has came in, which is called as CW, or CW just stand for the Code Whisperer over there. So all you have to do is like CW, and you see that there is something called as AI feature. You can also use like who am I dashboard, 
doctor diagnostic and all those stuff but the ai feature is the one thing which is very very handy and this is like an artificial intelligence feature to come in with this particular code whisperers inside fig so once you hit enter over there it's going to ask you to translate a text to a shell command which means you can just tell like a natural language and then it's going to give you the command for you for example i want to kill all the running docker container and if i hit enter now this is going to give you the shell command for killing all the docker containers which is currently active you see that this is the command docker kill dollar docker ps hyphen q pretty cool right you can ask another question as well for example prune all the docker images so once i do that it's going to show you docker image prune hyphen a that is awesome right like you can keep asking this question for example i want to merge the current brand with main branch just the changes and if i hit enter then it's going to show you git merge main something like that so you can also see if there is a difference between the commands so or get the difference of the current code with main branch in git it's going to show you git diff name only head of main so this is the way that you can keep getting all the different commands for your natural language question that you have asked and this is going to be quite amazing as well so this is like a level further that you can use the fig within your command line and you don't really have to hunt around sometimes while working with the command line interface we always forget like what is the command that we have to use to perform this operation this is quite awesome and i also use something like what is the port being used by an application while the application is keep closing? For example, Selenium is running on a specific port and the Selenium drivers keep running and I have to close that particular port, then I can ask that question as well. And you can see that it's going to show you the way that you can ask the particular question to kill the port which is currently open and like that so these are all the things that you can keep asking and this way it's going to make your life much much easier so this is the another great example of how you can use this terminal to make your life much much easier so i know this is going to be a short video but you have got this whole potential of using fig or the amazon code whisperer to make your life much much easier with command line interface and code whisperer is again a bigger landscape of all the tools which has got for example you can also generate the code with the code whisperer you can also have a plugin within one vs code or other writer ide or visual studio ide to make your coding much much faster it's going to give you the code suggestion it is embedded as an amazon queue within your aws so you can ask them aws specific questions and stuff so all these things is going to happen using code whisperer and again the command line interface that i showed you just now is just like part of the code whisperer but code whisperer itself is a bigger one which is the ai productivity tool completely free you can use pretty much like the github copilot but with free of cost once again thank you so much for watching this video and catch you in the next one